we look at the fires across the state right now, Adam Turner from the Texas A&M Forest Service is with us with the latest on updates. We would love to check in with uh, how things are going at that 1148 fire near Possum Kingdom Lake. Mr. Turner. Things are going well. Uh, we are doing, we're at 500 acres. We are at about 10% contained. Uh, crews were working late last night to tie in uh, dozer lines with some ground crews. And then uh, we will have a line mostly around that fire uh, depending on how far the, those hand crews got last night. So how many fires are you fighting around the state right now? I mean, I, it's hard to keep up with your Twitter account. You're reporting so many. We are currently on uh, 16 fires across the state as an agency. Um, most of them are kind of centrally focused uh, along that I-35 corridor and then east in eastern Texas uh, along I-45 and that kind of Piney Woods area. How does what you're seeing this summer compare to an average summer here in the state? It's definitely higher. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to be in a record book year for uh, wildfire season. Uh, this season has been compared to 2008, 2006, and a little bit to the 2011 fire season. Um, they're not the same, but they are showing very similar uh, patterns and sequences. We have seen such an aggressive, quick response. Uh, you know, we interviewed someone yesterday on this program talking specifically about how relieved they were. Can you speak to that and just uh, the preparedness that comes into play in stopping these? So we have hundreds of re additional resources beyond just our own uh, based in the state currently. We've brought resources in from around the country uh, to be prepared to respond with us to help local fire departments and volunteer fire departments. Um, these resources have increased our response capabilities drastically just with the vast amount of resources that we can respond to. Um, but when you have multiple large fires like Chalk Mountain, like 1148, uh, like the West Bend fire near which Stuff All is going, resources are always going to be in short supply. You talk about 16 fires you're fighting across the state. We always want to make people aware of how they can prevent these from starting. What are some of the causes folks should be on the lookout for so they don't cause another one of these blazes? So the biggest thing in Texas is that 90% of wildfires are caused by humans. That's 9 out of 10 fires are a human caused from some, you know, maybe an accident, maybe uh, just a careless moment. But something as simple as dragging chains down the road behind a trailer can cause fires. Uh, making sure that those are tied up, aren't going to hit the road, making sure that if a tire, you know, if your tires are under pressure, to fill them back up so they don't blow out. Um, be careful with glass and welding and anything that might cause spark outside. Um, if you're under a berm van, please follow it. All of these things can help reduce the number of fire starts and allow the resources that are currently uh, engaged to stay engaged and try and catch these 16 large fires and all of the other small fires that we aren't helping with yet. All right, Mr. Turner, we appreciate your time. Thank you so very much, and uh, good luck to you all. Thank you.